Hi. <clears throat> so today I wanted to talk about how I am doing. How I'm doing. Um, not so good, actually. I've been having a lot of mental breakdowns lately over small stuff. And I've gained weight, which sucks. I started to have stomach pains for the last, right now I'm having one, for the last three, three days, four days, I have stomach pains. I went to my uh, general physician and she booked me into a test, like a breathing test for uh, Elicobacter pylori, it's like a germ a virus that you can get in your stomach and I really hope it's that actually it's not the best thing but I hope it's that and not my gallbladder which I have a problem with because um, if it's my gallbladder I'll have to remove it and then be on a very strict diet with no fats and everything and it's gonna be hell <coughs> I really want to smoke all the time, although I'm smoke free for three months already. Yes, I managed to do that. And I really want to drink all the time. I've been taking sleeping pills in the middle of the day to knock myself out. I'm waking up way too early, like right now it's... 7 a.m. and I woke up at 6. <sighs> Sorry, it's hard to talk. <clears throat> so I wake up at 6 every morning and then I just um, browse social media, answer questions and be online on the Discord server and on Instagram and Facebook. I just check the media. I have a coffee and then the shit show begins. I start eating everything and I just can't stop and help myself since I take meds that make me want to eat everything and it's very hard for me. <sighs> I'm just tired of this life and a few days ago I had a dream about my mom. I don't know if you know that but she has cancer. And I dreamt that she wanted to go to Switzerland, which they have like a euthanasia program that you can go and kill yourself if you're like severely ill or dying. And I dreamt that my mom wants to go to Switzerland to kill herself. And all I ask for her, for her is three letters. One for when I move out so that I have something to read from her, two, when I get married, and third one, when I have a child. I woke up from this nightmare crying and just not being able to go back to sleep until my boyfriend came and made me feel safer and he ensured me it was just a dream. He tucked me in like a burrito and <clears throat> made me feel better made me feel safe. Sorry, I can't find a position to be comfortable in. Also from the drugs I'm taking. Thank you. Thank you, drugs. I'm taking way too much drugs. Like, how did I get to this point, you know? A year ago, I was bubbly and happy and everything was great. I think I was manic, but everything was great in life. I had a, I had a job and I was doing great and I was doing fine and I had a high paying job, so like an achievement in life. <clears throat> and I was not taking any drugs, any pills, and I was just doing just fine. But now, a year later, I'm on this bunch of meds and I have no job and my life is falling apart and I'm gaining weight and I don't know what to do. For this moment, uh, I actually got a job. I'm starting on the 1st of September. I'm going to be uh, counseling 
not counseling, a guide. Yeah, it's like after school activity guide for kids. It's like four hours a day each day, which is good because it would keep me occupied from noon till five. But like, where is my life? Okay, you know, I was, where is my life? I was so much happier and I was so much, you can see in my back like videos that I was so happy and quirky and I don't know. And right now I'm just depressed all the time and all I want to do is sleep and I avoid people and I try to go to the gym gym words get stuck in my mouth. I try to go to the gym regularly and now I got my hair blonde as you can see and I'm back to the blue and purple and I just feel not complete, like something is missing. I don't know what, but I'm so tired of waking up so early. It sucks. It really does. <clears throat> I just want to be happy again, you know? I just want to be me. And I think the drugs are interrupting that, but I can't stop the drugs. Because if you stop the drugs, you are getting sick very fast like you get withdrawal symptoms I tried that with the Seroquel didn't go well so I'm back on the Seroquel but now I'm like dozing out Dose, lower dosing I'm taking lower dosages of it till I just like drop it completely <clears throat> and it's one of the reasons I'm so numb all the time and unsettle and all jittery and I break stuff stuff are falling from my hands like my phone my vape uh, glass jar I broke it I broke a whole jar of new jar of honey that was super expensive I broke it and I was so overwhelmed because it was the second thing I broke the same day that I had a panic attack and my boyfriend's mom had to clean it up because I just, I stood there and I just couldn't, ooh, look, my hair is falling out. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, my hair is falling out like a bitch. Wait, let me get some more. Just, huh. I don't know if you can see it because it's blonde. Okay, there it is. My hair is falling out like shit. It's, I think, from the stress the drugs I'm taking, the lack of nutrition I'm having. I'm like having one or two meals a day, but it's like big meals. And most of it is like liquids, the rest of the meals. And the stress I'm under. Did I say stress? I think I said stress. But I'm not okay. I'm not okay. And I cannot stress this enough. Uh, how I miss myself being, just being happy and peppy and joyful of life and seeing the good things. I usually could binge watch a show in like a day and now I'm like, leave me alone, I can do this, I can do anything. Good thing is I finished my Lolita book, finally. Took me a few months, but I picked it up yesterday, and I finally finished it, <clears throat> so that's good. And as you can see right now, I'm really pretty down. That's because I'm cranky that I woke up so early, and I've been having those weird dreams. I don't know, and this pain, and it, like, uh, it hurts. I'll show you where. Oh. This is my stomach, and this is where I feel like that pressure inside. Yes, I know I'm fat. You don't need to comment about that. This is a thing we know already on this place. I'm fat, and it's okay. It happened. I just... 
want to say fuck it and throw all my meds away and start being myself again. And all I'm doing is just adding more and more drugs. I have more here. <clears throat> more and more drugs to my drug list. Right now I'm on one, two, three, three, four, five, six different meds. And that's not including the laxatives I take occasionally. So, yeah, seven drugs. Seven, six? I don't know. It's a lot of drugs to be taking at a very early young age. Like, I'm 24 years old and I'm already drugged from my ass. And, uh, just, you know. So, yeah, to answer the question, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing fine. I'm doing shitty. I'm getting annoyed at everything, and I get pissed at everything, I forget to do stuff, I forget to clean, like I don't have the power to clean stuff and organize stuff, so my part of the room is messy as fuck, and I don't know what to do anymore, so I'm here just, I don't know, whoever listens, one, two, three people, I don't care, it's mostly for me. But thank you for listening, whoever stayed this long. Um, I know I'm not fun these days, and I'm not doing really fun things. But I have a trip planned to Latvia and Lithuania on November, so I think I'll do a vlogs there. Who knows? Maybe I'll get my fun back. I don't know. Look at this fake smile. Mm -hmm horrible but yeah thank you for staying and I love you so much whoever watches this and I hope you feel better than I do bye guys <laughs>